This is how you respond responsibly to what happened four months ago, Madam Speaker. Not with deflection or mistruths, but by taking action to protect not only this complex and those who work, serve, and visit here, but to also protect our very democracy. And making sure we never become a country that lets any angry mob decide who the next president will be. Only the voters can do that, Madam Speaker. We need to put the facts on record here, to tell the truth and not spread lies. And the truth is that some on the other side are afraid to do anything around here because they're afraid. Afraid of the truth? Afraid because their leadership doesn't want to offend the ex-president and his big lie? That's all I could think of when I read the minority leader's deeply troubling statement opposing the January 6th commission. Now, even though it's bipartisan, even though his own ranking member negotiated the deal, even though we gave him virtually everything he asked for during the negotiations, a Republican aide said it best when they were quoted uh, in the press yesterday saying this, and I quote, I think Kevin was hoping that the Democrats would never agree to our request. That way the commission would be partisan and we can all vote no and say it's a sham operation because he knows Trump is gonna lose his mind, end quote. Lose his mind over a bipartisan commission. Madam Speaker, this moment is a choice a choice between the truth or siding with the originator of the big lie. To my friends on the other side, I'm asking you to lead with the courage of your convictions. Vote your conscience. Support this bipartisan commission, not just because it's the right thing to do, but support it out of respect, out of respect for your colleagues, for your staff and the support staff here for the Capitol Police, but most importantly, respect for this institution.